Hey, this is Paolo from the NB Academy, and in today's video we have another preset pad request. They ask for the track Infrasonic by Ulterior Motive and the sound at this timestamp. So this is the sound we're going to be making. Now I know it's not exactly the same, but the cool thing is that this process has lots of different variations. For example, this. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos. If you want to get access to preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized serum, and the first thing I'm going to do is to tell you which notes we're playing. We're playing two Bs and then one E. And on every note, we are doing a short pitch bend down like this. So the way it's automated in the DAW is like this. As you can see, this is the falling shape. Now let's go back into Serum. Okay, so here in Serum, the principle behind this sound is going to be to select a complex wave table to create a growl movement. We can select any, for example, Creeper. We're going to map elephant number one into the wave table position. And we're going to make the LFO slower. Make sure you put it on trigger. Now we can play with the wave tail position to not make it so drastic. That's cool. Now here in this sound, we can add a bit of attack like this. And we can map another LFO into a level of the oscillator and do the same thing. Just like that, we're going to turn on the sub and we're going to add bend plus and minus warping mode into the oscillator. There you go. Now we're going to distort everything. As you can see, we're starting to get a cool texture. Next, we can add a filter and we can set it on high notch. And with this, we can create a growl type of vocal movement. So we can map another phone into the cutoff, boost the resonance, and play with this frequency. Of course, make it slower and then create your own shape. There you go. We can also do it after the distortion. Once again, we can load a high notch and we can modulate the cutoff once again. Just like that. Let's bring the frequency down. And to make it sound more dirty, we, we're gonna add a couple of effects. The first one being phaser, bringing the depth and the frequency all the way down. And next, adding an EQ. And with this EQ, we're going to low pass everything. Now, make sure you take care of the resonances. For example, here in the lows, there's a resonance right there. And that is because of this filter starting at 45 hertz. So let's put it up. And also this one. There you go. Let's bring the gain down. Next, we're going to add a compressor for multiband mode. And we're going to add a short reverb with a lot of low cut, bring the decay down and the size down. Just to make it sound more metallic. And now you can always go back into the oscillator tab and change the wavetable. And now let's jump into some pulse processing. So for pulse processing, the first thing I added was a chorus. Next, I added an EQ to accentuate specific frequencies. You can also use another pick to reduce 
unwanted resonances like that. And you can even boost this up. Next, there's a phaser. And this, if you put it on 100%, will help you control the format of the sound. Just like that. Let's bring it down though. And next, I added an OTT. Just to add more brightness into the sound. And next, I added another EQ that will serve as a filter. And it gets the frequency modulated, making this movement. Now you can always change the frequency. Next, there is some erosion to add more noise into the sound. And next, we have another EQ. That's cool. We can also low pass this sound slightly because the original track doesn't have too much highs. There you go. Now we can play this on the original. And we can always go back into Serum and change something in our patch. For example, once again, the wavetable. Let's make the modulation of the wavetable a bit more smooth. As you can see, it's all about the fine tuning that you do after. There you go, that's cool. Now to make this sound something of your own, you can always just stay away from the little things that we did to match the mixing, which will be the phaser, the EQ, and the reverb. And try to fit this sound into a new mix with new tonality. And also, you can do it with new movements. Just like that. Let's actually modulate the frequency here. As you can see, this sound can be quite cool. If you just modulate meaningful parameters that you learned as making the sound. So that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. Once again, if you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.